If you want the present to be different from the past, study the past. If you want to bake a different cake than the one you made before, you should study the recipe of the previous cake and learn from any mistakes or successes. Just like how studying a recipe helps you bake a better cake, studying the past can help you make better decisions in the present and shape a better future. Nothing in nature is by chance. Something appears to be chance only because of our lack of knowledge. Imagine you are taking a walk in the forest and you come across a beautiful flower growing in a random spot. At first, it might seem like the flower just happened to grow there by chance, but if you were to learn more about the forest and its ecosystem, you would realize that there are many factors that influence where and how the flower grows. The flower's location and appearance are not random, but rather the result of many complex interactions between the environment, the soil, and the plants and animals that live there. Similarly, when we encounter something in life that appears to be chance, it may be due to our lack of knowledge about the underlying causes and influences at play. Desire nothing for yourself, which you do not desire for others. Imagine you are at a potluck dinner and you are choosing what dish to bring. If you only choose a dish that you like and don't consider what others might want to eat, it would be like wanting something for yourself without caring about what others desire. Instead, if you choose a dish that you think everyone will enjoy and that will satisfy everyone's cravings, it would be like wanting the same for others as you do for yourself. It's encouraging to think about others and be empathetic towards them, and to make decisions that will benefit everyone and not just oneself. He who seeks equality between unequals seeks an absurdity. Imagine you have two apples, one is small and the other one is large. If you try to make them equal by cutting the large apple into smaller pieces, it would be like trying to make unequal things equal. The small apple is already equal in size to itself, and the large apple is already equal in size to itself. By trying to make them equal, you are essentially trying to make the large apple smaller and the small apple larger, which is not possible. It is emphasizing that trying to make unequal things equal is illogical, unrealistic and impossible. It is important to acknowledge and accept the differences and diversity in people, things, and situations. The endeavor to understand is the first and only basis of virtue. Imagine you are learning to play a new instrument. At first, you may struggle to understand the notes, chords, and fingerings. But as you practice and learn more about the instrument, you will become better at playing it. Similarly, in life, our understanding and knowledge of a situation or person can change the way we act and behave. If we make an effort to understand and learn more, we will be able to make better decisions, have more empathy, and act more virtuously. Just like practicing an instrument leads to better performance, making an effort to understand leads to better behavior and virtue.